when this problem first started and we started seeing the infestation, there's certain signs and symptoms you can look at in the trees and go, hey, something's going on here. We knew it was budworm. We knew it was gonna keep getting worse. People couldn't see it yet because the trees were still green. They still looked good, but they were losing that new growth. And as they lose the new growth, then the tree dies, can't keep up anymore. Next thing you know, you just have standing dead stands of, of balsam. I remember the pine trees being, you know, green and lush and just thick and, and I mean, really thick. You couldn't even walk through them, but uh, all of a sudden it's like, wow, they're, they're dying off. They probably need to be thinned and logged. And that's when I talked to Josh about it. Yeah, and then I learned more about the budworm. I wouldn't come out here and have campfires or anything. I wouldn't come out here on my property and do any remote camping. It was just too thick. And that risk of having a fire and knowing that there's homes over here, yeah, I, I don't do that. Next thing you know, we're just sending it for biomass or we're forestry mulching it. The biomass piece is a, a huge need in Minnesota. That biomass goes to feed power plants, power plants keep the lights on. I think if the state was more proactive on getting ahead of these uh, budworm infestations and down trees and what have you, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be in the uh, uh, millions and millions of dollars of going towards firefighters. When we have our own ability to go into areas safely and not cause uh, ground damage. It's because of a lack of logging that these fires took place. It's because of a lack of stewardship that these took place. There's so many options that we can be working with through the through the stands of timber so that we can be cultivating woods for future generations.